Hey y'all, Rip One Outdoors here. Let's take a little ride. Riding the bridge. It's a beautiful day. Share the road. I think that has something to do with uh, the golf cart. They have uh, legalized golf carts to run on the roads here in the city of Picayune. And uh, so they put up the share the road signs. That's Interstate 59 straight ahead. Just south of Picayune. We're gonna do a U-turn right here. We're gonna slow down, hit our brakes, put our left foot out. And just swing it on around don't hit the pedal use the there you go use the throttle and just throttle it on back up here we go somebody that's my old buddy there he's trying to mow his grass and it's wet If anybody's watching and owns an e-bike, what kind of e-bike do you have? Put it in the comments. I'd like to hear. I see there's some good ones out there. Or they look good. There's one of them that you can use an app. I think it's a Benton. You can use an app and it keeps up with your rides. It keeps up with your 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 calories that you burn, uh, miles. Uh, of course, this thing here keeps up with my controller display screen there. It keeps up with the with your miles and trips and what have you. I don't ever mess with it. It's on 455.8 miles right now. And I don't keep up with individual trips. But hey, I kind of like I kind of like the uh, app. But Magicycle doesn't have an app as far as I know. But this uh I watched the people that do the Aventon bikes, I think that's how you pronounce it. But they have an app, and I, I kind of like that. So we're just cruising on back down Ridge Road here, heading back towards the house. Magicycle has come out with a new commuter bike. I'd really like to try it out, but I doubt very seriously they'll want to send me one. But uh, I like to uh, I like to try that. It's belt driven. It doesn't have a chain. It's a belt. It doesn't have a throttle. But it looks very looks very interesting to me 
has some smoother tires on it and the tires are a little skinnier than what this fat bike fat tire bike has they also got a couple of new bikes uh, they starting to ship visit their website there I got a link on my description you're welcome to check those out Ocelot's one of them the other one is uh, a, I believe they call it a Jaguar Jaguarande hey I got a link down there in the, in the description you're welcome to uh, try that thing out. Type in that, type in that code, Rich 100, and you get yourself $100 off of a purchase of a bike. Feel free to check that out. Big boy is here. with the dust I had to clean my GoPro after that one Of course we've said before about a lot of history on this old road and there's nobody living on the road now because it's in what we call the NASA buffer zone. The buffer zone is a place that just it cleared everything out so they could have a buffer zone around the area where they were testing the, uh, the Apollo engines, the Saturn V engines. If y'all remember back then, you, and they did all the engine tests for the moon mission rockets. They're still testing down there now for the Artemis project. But back in the old days, people prior to 1960, a lot of houses along in here. Well, not a lot. Just some old places. I remember there's an old place up in here to the right here. Place here on the left. Somewhere along in here was Ridge Road School. That's where my dad went, went to school. But there's nothing here but now but woods. Remember one time they grew up in the depression here at the old, over here at the old place. They grew up in the depression. Daddy and them did. There was 13 of them in the household. Their mama and daddy had died early in life and left 13 kids. Of course, a lot of the kids were older, my daddy being one of them, and they tried to do what they could to to. Uh, to help the other children to survive. And as y'all know, they're old enough to remember or know anything about history, the depression was really bad. And Daddy said him and Uncle Prentice decided they was gonna plant some sweet potatoes. And they planted sweet potatoes and they made the best crop of sweet potatoes they had ever made worked them sweet potatoes with a horse and a plow and the government men come and inspected them and they found weevils and they made them burn them sweet potatoes that was their that was their survival just taken away from them of course they did they did survive 
I don't know if the government stepped in and say, hey, we're going to burn up all your sweet potatoes. We're going to you know, provide you with this or that. Hey, there wasn't any free government programs back then. It was, as Daddy said, root hog or die. Sad story. That they burned everything folks had to eat because weevils got in. But hey, they survived. Coming up on the old place here, I'll try to show you about where that happened. Are the best my ability. Well, the dump trucks are working today. A little bit of sunshine gets them constructed. Companies out working. The old field off to the right here. That was part of the old place. show you about where I think the old barn was where the, where where daddy and uncle Prentice had their sweet potatoes I may be wrong somebody's got a few horses and a jackass here now but I would think right out in here somewhere was their barn where they kept their sweet potatoes and they they had this field I think it was 10 acres in here of all at all uh, all added together but that's where they grew their their garden vegetables that helped them survive. Y'all would turn it off now, and uh, we'll end on that story right there. Like and subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one.